Thank you for attending this webinar sponsored by NEC Corporation. To learn more about the Programmable Flow Networking Suite featured in these use cases, please contact your NEC account rep today or go to NEC Corporation of America's website at www.necam.com sdn. To find additional SDN, OpenFlow, and Network Function Virtualization resources, visit ipspace.net slash sdn. You probably know the pain. You want to implement consistent security and QoS policies, but you have all sorts of wired and wireless devices, and some of them support a particular protocol, and some of them don't. And it depends on the vendor and the device and the operating system and the operating system version and user configuration. And some users are bringing their own devices and you can't control it. You know how it works. The academics have it most painful because they can't control what students bring on campus, particularly if students have influential parents. And they cannot control what their senior professors are bringing on campus. So. A number of universities are either trying or I think a few of them already have something like this in production. So what you do is when a new device connects to the network, you put that device in sort of, if you wish, a special VLAN, but you do this with OpenFlow. You redirect that device to an authentication controller. And you can do this based on device MAC address, for example, or you can try to figure out what the device can do and so on and so on. So you don't have to configure an authentication protocol like 802.1x on the switches. You can act on the device type and forward it to the appropriate controller. In worst case, a captive portal where the user has to authenticate. And once the user has authenticated, the OpenFlow controller gets the user type and then it can place the user into the right network. Or even better, it can deploy an access control list at the edge. And you know how to do that with programmable flow by now. The beauty of this solution is that you can have numerous authentication mechanisms. They don't have to be supported by the individual edge switches and you can use the same infrastructure for wired and wireless networks. And at least with programmable flow, you can also do this in the virtual environment because the programmable flow controller, well, the programmable flow software suite, if you wish, includes a Hyper-V soft switch. Programmable flow can also control OVS, by the way, as you'll see in the next use case. And in all these cases, the whole end-to-end -end network is controlled by a programmable flow controller. So the user traffic is intercepted here. And if you define a flow list through API, for example, or you can use configuration, you know all about those mechanisms, that flow list will get implemented as open flow entries in the ingress port which is, in our case, a soft switch in the hypervisor. So all the hard work will be done in the hypervisors and the physical switches will perform just simple forwarding actions, which you know are easier to scale. This would be, for example, an ideal VDI deployment scenario. So this would be the virtual desktops for individual users. And as the user spins up his VM or well, through the orchestration system, the programmable flow controller would automatically deploy access control lists here. Now, the latest version of programmable flow controller has an interesting addition, so-called multi-domain functionality, which allows you to use the same programmable flow controller to control islands of OpenFlow that are connected with regular switches or routers. So you can build pods. Let's say this is pod number one for your VDI farm. And this is pod number two. Those two pods would be connected through regular layer two or layer three, hopefully layer three for resilience. And even though you have two islands of OpenFlow, each one with its set of uplinks going to, let's say, layer three core switches, the same controller can control both islands and you can configure one security policy and 
it applies to both islands. So wherever the user's VM is activated, you always get the same edge policy per user. To learn more about the award-winning NEC Programmable Flow Networking Suite or the complete SDN ecosystem NEC is building with partners and how you can customize these use cases for your own networking needs, call your NEC account rep today or go to NEC Corporation of America's website at www.necam.com slash SDN. Thank you for your time and interest in NEC. Additional SDN, OpenFlow, and Network Function Virtualization webinars, recordings, and workshops, as well as other resources like books and case studies, are waiting for you at ipspace.net slash SDN.